Now concerning the ground techniques or even in Swadi or Swadiage uh, techniques, the usage of Tanto is too much different from what we see in the standing, the Tachi techniques. We will see uh, why this is seen as this understood as a difficult study and uh, for this reason also it's um, more commonly studied after sensei graduation. The reason for that is that the, the positions they are not uh, easy to deal to maintain or and also the progression or how one can overrule the uh, the position of the UK or of your your partner your enemy uh, it's it's not easy and also it's a very tricky study it, it does not consist only on, on the violence of the tanto of the cuts of the of the stabbing movements but also on how one can deceive and how one can keep calm under this kind of situation so let's see for example in a free form study visual attack as he wishes so say suppose we are here and we are still under this distance so I can find finger first and so trying to find him in the middle of his timing say keeping the eye keeping the sight to what he's doing but now cutting tendon because it's the first thing he exposed you know this is the danger this is the hot part and I have to protect myself from here and at the same time finding an angle which he cannot see or in which it, it would be difficult for him to see what is happening with his hand so the first thing he exposed trying to reach me was his his knee so cutting tendon piercing and cutting tendon and from here always careful with uh, his his hands we have uh, we'll try to stab you know just below his ribs from here one Two, he tries to attack me one more time. So, stopping him, preventing him to cut and cutting. Tendon one more time, he tries one more time. And just like we saw, at the same time we are protecting, we are entering, getting close to him, uh, finding progression over his position uh, under his armpit, twisting inside him and cutting. Tendon and muscle one more time. Now, we have neck. Now, we have tendon one more time and we have that's what it and from here the inner part of his thigh you know, it's it's quite known that the, the amount of blood or the, the the blood flow in this region is uh, very intense you know? so it's a very 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 dangerous part for the Ancient masters, these parts, inner part of thigh and of arms, they were so uh, important as your, uh, your internal organs. So they would try to protect them at, at any cost. Let's see, one more example. Once he's here, before he enters, one, you know, exposing face. Two, he'll try one more time and one more time he exposed tendon. So, and before he comes one more time, I will try to find his thigh. He just retreated because he knows the danger of it. So, he enters one more time. And I will stop putting him down. Cutting, of course. From here, I'll try to isolate what is, the, what is his major and most dangerous weapon. Of course, his santo. So, by kneeling violently, of course, over his arm, even trying to break and cutting one more time by cutting we have his neck exposed just uh, let's state let's remember that the way one should strike in a stabbing situation is not straightforward we will enter imagine his neck is here we would enter and we would cut in this shape and we would take the tanto off cutting one more time trying to find the a huge amount of danger of, of, um, of damage to his body. So say one, two, and yet finding internal organs through ribs. Two, and yet one, two.
and concluding one last sequence. <coughs> Kneeling one more time, one, two, cutting, and tendons, and kidneys, and ribs. So, say, this was a brief example of what is studied in the ground techniques, or in the Swadi, Swadagi techniques, with tanto, uh, in Tanto Jutsu. Thank you very much. <laughs>